Okay, so today we had the intention of going out to um, approach golfers at um, golf, various golf courses around the area. Um, the, the, the object or the aim was to inform them that we had been creating a new app um, for golfers detecting the Coriolis effect on courses depending on whether they were north-south facing or east-west facing. The, the whole point was satire, as I say, and to trigger people uh, to give us the response that they have never taken the Coriolis effect into consideration while playing golf. That was the aim. You know, well, we've we done this today, and it's a Monday. Um, the weather was not the greatest, so unfortunately there was not many golfers around. So we decided to just go into the town and you know ask some people randomly various questions about the subject, you know, regarding the shape of the earth. This is what we, we achieved today. So what's your name? Mega. Mega. Nice to meet you, mate. How you doing? I'm going to ask Mega some questions here, see what kind of responses he gives. Okay. Um, how are we doing? We're doing a bit of market research on uh -huh. golf, players and people play golf. Uh -huh. Now we get some insight knowledge on why people like Tiger Woods and stuff are so successful. Right. And one of the things that came to us was that they take into account a thing called the Coriolis effect. Right. Now what the clever scientists are telling us is that the earth spins uh -huh. from east to west, west to east, whatever it is, um, at a thousand miles an hour at the equator. And there's a thing called the Coriolis effect where they say that snipers uh -huh. and any object that's leaving the earth's surface is affected by the movement of the earth. Right. So, you know, we're saying to people, well guys like Tiger Woods are obviously taking this into account, which is why they're so accurate. Uh, have you ever considered that and what it actually is? No, really, to be fair, it's not. It's not something that's brought to your attention, it's just yeah. accepted. Just accepted, uh, you, know, you, ever, you ever felt the earth spin? Nah, well, a bit of hangover. Nah, <laughs> but, but, <laughs> but, but you've never detected any not, motion, no. any movement. Oh, no, no. Have you ever questioned the, the whole thing that you were told that you lived on a go? No really question, you just kind of, I don't know, you get told it enough or that many folk that you just stole it, you just, just roll it, right, that's what it is. School, yeah, nursery exactly, school, yeah, you just told me that thing. Yeah. But did it ever make sense to you? Did you ever question it as you were growing up? You always, I don't know, I've, I've always kind of watched these documentaries and all that and uh, you always kind of, you question it but you don't know enough about it to have an argument against it. Yeah. You know so, I mean? so how would you feel if I had said to you that you know, there's absolutely zero pictures from space that are real, genuine pictures? I'm probably, I don't know, like, I, I could believe that because when you do see, when you do see stuff here, it's hard to take in the room, you just, they're used to seeing it, so you accept it, but if, if there's an argument against it, I don't know, I'm open to believe that stuff. Yeah, but you think it would be a wee bit suspicious that there's zero real pictures? Aye, that would be a bit suspicious, aye. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's, that's the reality of the situation. But I mean, I, I, I don't understand why that's what we've been told, you know what I mean? Like, why? Well, you know, but, but part of the part of the process is understanding that you know a government or religious institutions will have to be control. So if you can tell people, you know, where they live, yeah. is all that exists, you yeah. make it a sphere. Yeah. If people are trying to think more of it, it's been discovered. There's nowhere else. Yeah. There's nothing yeah. else there. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Um, but what we've started finding is looking at it is that there's absolutely zero proof that the love right. of there's no motion detectable, mm -hmm. um, that they've not been to space, mm -hmm. and that things like they tell you that space is a vacuum, yeah. so can we live in a positive pressure system? There seems to be a lot of deception going on here about where we actually live, uh -huh. because if you can take the foundations away from people, then they don't know where they are. Yeah. So, um, I think it's just one of those things, you get told it enough, so you just, like, as, uh, you get these folk who study for years, and say study for years, and they tell you what it is, so you just accept that, because yeah. you don't know yeah. enough about it. It's a pretty sad state though, isn't it? I, 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 it's quite sad, I think. But people are not even questioning where they're actually living. Yeah, you just you told it, and you took some of the and telling you where they are, what they do, they can be a higher. So if you don't have the foundations of where you are, what is your life? Everything you tell yourself in your life is uh, pretty much fucking me. Yeah. That's a fair point. But you've all these people telling you what life's about, how you live your life. Um, so, there's loads of these anomalies, and the whole thing points towards that it's no a globe and it can never be a globe. Yeah. You know, it's against nature. Yeah. So, is that? I mean, I've got, 
no, ahora que te pato, esto es algo que te puedo, pero a mí me dirá que es against the key. Es que es eso, es que 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 es Doing stuff within uh, that's, 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 that's the thing that I've never heard. Doing stuff within the... That's, that's, that's the thing that I've never heard. So no, you hear that, you do. It's just as much evidence to say that that you're choosing is. So we get forward with it. Yeah. Well, that's unfortunate. That's the point. It just takes, I think it takes more of a... A lot of people to go against the other argument and look into it. And then you start other things to put off. Yeah. Chief, I see it's being flat-earth. What a reason you get in mind. <laughs> I say to you, like, that's flat earth, the earth's flat, do you have an image in your mind about what that would look like? Not really, to be fair, like, I think it's just drawing in your head from, you know, just doing this clothing, you always just come around, the background is too weird, the sky's always too weird, and that's just really fun. I used to come to my mistake. Hi, Jim. Oh, I don't know. But you've never done any of these things. The whole point is to try to show people, yeah, yeah. like, don't take anything for granted. Yeah. Question everything yeah. they've ever told you, and then go by your own experience yeah. and trust your senses. So thank you very much for your time. Um, if you get a wee poster or something, yeah, just can get a wee ad there and stuff. stuff. This is all my stuff here. I don't know yeah. if that's come up. If that's too. Legs are bus Gavin. There's, there's some music, some so. Can they find me if I'm not on the street? <laughs> do you believe you live on a round sphere? I do. Why? That's what I've been told. Through school? Yeah, just education, I suppose. Yeah. Um, would, it, would it shock you if I told you that there's absolutely zero real pictures from space and there's zero video footage from space? So, what is it we see then on the telly? CGI. Which is. Computer generated images that, that are now openly admitting. They're now openly admitting that they have never went to the moon. Um, and the whole purpose of the moon, as far as people are here concerned, is so that we can convince people that they lived on a sphere. And mm -hmm. That's no reality. So why do they want to convince them of that? Well, it's simple. Why you see, see, I've got you here and I want you to be my slave. Right? Right. Now, you being a human being have got a curious explorer mind. Um, the, if I want to keep you here, I need to tell you that where a hug is the only thing that exists. The okay. way to achieve that is to tell you that you're living on a sphere. So it doesn't matter where you go, mm -hmm. you can end up back where you started again, so there's no point in you going. Alright. Right? Does that make sense to you? It does make sense. If I told you that natural science, real scientific um, exploration and experimentation proves beyond a shadow of a doubt that the Earth can never be a sphere, and that all the, the, the evidence proof points to it being a flat stationary plane, and where is the scientific evidence? Why don't we see it? Because what they've done is, you know, if I say this to you, well, you say you believe you lived on a sphere. Yeah. And you say because they told you. Right. It's because all bodies of water, scientific fact of reality, must be contained. They do not conform to the exterior of shapes. Do you understand that? I understand that, that yeah. Do you know that any liquid has to be in a glass, uh -huh, a tube, yeah. a bathtub, a basin, a yeah. swimming pool, yeah. a lake, a dam? Would you think the oceans would behave any differently? If it wasn't contained. Yeah. So that tells you that at the perimeters there has to be a containment of some uh -huh, kind. Uh -huh. Yeah, because you know that water is flat and level. Right. Always. It doesn't that, matter the scale of it. So that brings back the theory of us not living in the sphere. Yes. So we must be contained. Yes. Somewhere. Yeah. And the purpose of this is what? So, to control us? Exactly. Okay, exactly. interesting. Well, the Earth is spinning at a thousand miles an hour yep. on its axis, firing around the sun at 65,000 miles an hour, while well, the sun's doing 500,000 miles an hour. Right. Have you ever felt any motion? No. Of course you've not, because it doesn't move. So there's absolutely zero scientific um, experiment that's right. been done to prove that the Earth moves the station. Right. Aeroplanes are called aeroplanes because they fly flat and parallel. Uh -huh. Right, yeah. they don't fly with a nose dip down because they're in the mm. cupboards in the air. Right, okay, alright. It all makes logical sense. Of course. Is any of this information going to harm us in any way? What? Any of this scientific well, proof that's coming out? No, it's, it's actually, it, it, it enlightens people. Right. It makes people feel better because there's two states of mind as far as I'm concerned. One state of mind is this. You're a space monkey. Uh -huh. Right, that evolved from monkeys. Okay. You're on a round walk. 
that happened to be accidental chance. There's right. no meaning to it. Right. And you're just spinning endlessly through the void of space. Right. The other state of mind is that it's all deliberate. Right. This is the centre of creation. This is where you're meant to be. Everything moves around us. Right. And that you're important. I so quite like that. For a controller, you want them in the opposite state of mind. You want yep. them feeling insignificant. Yep. Little, no meaning to them. And yep. then they can be controlled. They'll just go about their daily life yeah. without question. Okay. So that's the significance here. That's the importance here. Now, I would say to people, why do you think the event be such great lengths to convince you that you're doing this for you? Mm. That's where the big question is. That yeah. has to be controlled, doesn't it? Yes. That's what I'm saying. But who is trying to control us? Well, the institutions, the elites, the people who have the wealth and the power. Um, you know, the, the interesting thing is, what is it they're hiding? Yeah. Because in the Antarctic, in the North Pole, uh -huh. you're not allowed to go there yourself. If you go 60 degrees south or 60 degrees north with food supplies and extra fuel, uh -huh. you'll be dealt with accordingly. Because you're not supposed to be there unless you get a grant to be there and you're, you're funded by the appropriate authorities to be there. Right. So That's how do you feel? How do you feel about that? Quite enlightened. Eh? Quite enlightened, but I'll, I'll, I'll question things. Huh? Definitely. That's the whole point, it's just to get people questioning. Okay. Ask them. Well, yeah. you've achieved your... Thank you very much. Is your name? Yeah. Thank <laughs> I you. Will Thanks, Max. <laughs> so what we've done was we've created a map uh -huh. for locals. Uh -huh. um, we've done some research and we've got some outside information that Tiger Woods guys like that were so successful because they took into consideration a thing called the Coriolis effect. Mm. Have you ever heard of the Coriolis no. effect? What scientists will tell you is that the Earth is a round sphere uh -huh. and that it spins at a thousand miles an hour at the equator. Right. Now they'll tell you that when objects leave the Earth, they're affected by the spin of the Earth. Do you think that's reality? Uh, if I asked you, do you believe that you live on a ball? What would your response be? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you know that they tell you you live on a ball, but it's okay. Do you think it would be uh, quite, quite shocking if I told you that there is absolutely zero pictures and video from space that are real? Video? None at all. None. So they all be made in the air and they be look like they do like a bit of an emotion. Yeah. Yeah. Because you can't get out of this sky solid up, up there. It's solid. That's why the stars don't. There's there. no wind either. No. So why is the flag is flagging if there's no wind? Well, it never went to it. Of course. It's it's it never went to it. There was somewhere in America they made it look like it. Yeah, so you know that. So you're, you're aware <laughs> of that then. Yeah, good. That's good. I saw probably on television. Yeah. 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 It's, be, it's being released now that you know, the wide of these things. So yeah. the, thing, the thing is, is that the Earth, the Earth is not a globe. How does that make you feel? Yes. Different than what you thought it was, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Well, if I say this to you, it is tell you that the Earth is covered eighty percent water. Yeah. Now we know that water seats its own level, yes. and that it will be, it will form the shape of its container. Water will never be formed in the exterior of a shape. Exactly. Yeah. So right. It's not the oceans, the oceans are like big ponds, they're large ponds. It looks like it. Yeah, they lie parallel and flat, but we have an optical problem when we're viewing the over distance where things get smaller and they don't vanish. Now they play on the optical effects to tell you that the ship's going over the target of the air. Yeah. Just so that's not what's happening. Right. Yeah. So you, you've never considered that question? No, then? no, no, no. I've never been asked either. I'm thinking about it now. I'm just thinking about that. I'm just thinking about the way you have told me this, this and that, yeah. So, if I say to you, you know, there is absolutely zero proof that we live on a globe, all the scientific proof tells us that we're stationary yeah. and flat. And as I say, something never... No, no, no. I have to be honest, no. Have no, you ever felt the, spin, the earth spin? Have you ever felt any motion? <laughs> I've had their quicks, no. quicks. <laughs> or when you've had a few drinks? No, no, I don't drink at all. No, no. Oh, that's good, that's the same thing. Well, thank you very much for that, Antonio. That was good of you just to react. Guys, to it's a response. pleasure. Thank I'm you, sorry Antonio. I couldn't help you much. Right, what we've done is we've been researching, we've created an app for golf. Right. Um, we've done you know, some research and we've got some inside information about why guys like Tiger Woods and stuff are so successful. And one of the things that came to us was the fact that it takes into account a thing called the Coriolis effect. Have you ever heard of the Coriolis effect? 
Um, it's, scientists will tell you that the Earth spins at 1,000 miles an hour at the equator. But depending on what longitude or line you're on, if you're in the north or the south, the, the ball can be deflected left or right. Have you ever heard of that? Yeah. Have you ever seen it play? No, I've never seen it by golf. I seen but do, do you think it would ever be taken into account that it was a spin of the Earth that was creating yeah. any flaws in the shot? Have you ever felt the Earth move? Do you think that it does move? Can I ask you why? I just think it is. I've read about that, so... So it's coming from authority and, and institutions and stuff to you know, tell people that in school and... Mm -hmm. right. But, so, so they tell you the Coriolis effect, like a sniper or objects leaving the Earth would be affected by a left to right movement, obviously with the Earth spinning. Mm -hmm. um, so depending on what way the golf course is laid out, um, that can have an effect. So we're just trying to gather information to see if people are aware of that. And would they be interested in an app that tells them what direction the golf courses are facing, whether it's north to south, east to west. Um, you know, do, you think, do you think people would be interested in that? Because if they don't know it's affecting their game, mm -hmm. you know, then, you know. Well, this is what we're trying to gather. If people have ever been aware when you take a shot that there's any movements left to right that you can never account for, that, I just put it down and no hand in the ball, right? So it's no yeah. hand in the street? Yeah. How would you feel if I suggested to you that the earth was actually still and it never moved? I'd probably believe it, aye. Well, if I asked you, do you believe it's round? A no. globe? You don't? don't no. Right, this is good, because this is where we're going. <laughs> yeah. Are you aware that there is absolutely zero pictures or video from space that are real? I don't know. I just thought it would be real. None of them are real. None of them. None of them. There's not one. Our spacewalks and stuff have been filmed in pools with air bubbles rising through the pool and stuff like this. So, you know, this is part of the investigation and what we're trying to ask. There's a lot of lies in. Well, this is it. This is what happens with institutions when they get that kind of power. Mm -hmm. And they get people believing through the TV that these images are real. Same as the moon landings. I mean, people really think that in 1967 they fired a rocket. 238,000 miles away from the moon, landing first time and then come back. But you've now got companies like NASA saying, well, we're trying hard to um, um, achieve up beyond low Earth orbit. Uh, Basically telling you that the fake the moon landings back in the 60s, um, and all that stuff has been new falsified. NASA miraculously lost all the tapes. Um, so, people like me, are, are, are you engineered wise, mechanical thinking? Mechanical thinking, yeah. See if I was to say to you, you know, if we dug a huge hole um, and we used water to fill the hole to find if that hole was level, would that make sense to you? Possibly. So if I say to you, a body of water will always be flat and it will always seek its own level, does that make sense to you? I can't imagine the hole will be flat. Well, you know, there's motion on it, but the, the body of water will seek its own level. You know, it always has to be some sort of container, tub. You know, swimming pool, bad club, lake, dam. Do you think the oceans would be any different? Possibly. Possibly. So the point I'm making with that is that you know, the, the, the sphere, the globe Earth, you've got vast oceans curving around the outside of this sphere. Mm -hmm. Now in reality and in size, they know how liquids behave. They seek to maintain their own level, they can only ever be contained within a container. If you try and get a body of water to conform to the exterior any shape, it's just not going to happen. So this is one of our reasons why we know that the line is of a shape of the air. Can I ask you how you feel about these things? Yeah, the golf app is really interesting. You know, I've never really that much thought, to be honest. Yeah. And the thing is, is what they're hiding from is, is you're not allowed to go to Antarctica, you're not allowed to go to the North Pole and it's protected by military. The people that mean you can't just go there, you can't go 60 degrees south or 60 degrees north without a permit. You're not allowed to rations, you're not allowed to extra fuel. Um, some people suspect that there's other ponds like ours beyond uh, these, these places. Could be, uh, yeah. Yeah. Rather than it being up there uh, and out of space. Because they, they tell you that it's, there's a vacuum up there. But we know again in science that Two opposing pressure systems can exist side by side, you've got a solid barrier. Mm -hmm. Well, you're at equilibrium. If you get a vacuum and a positive pressure system next to each other, it's going to equilibrate. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, well, good. Thanks very much for your time, Thank you. Cheers, pal. Thank you. Cheers. None of them take.
gravity into the equation and none of them take curvature into the equation because there isn't any curvature because we don't live on a sphere. Just sitting for a square. Of course it is. Okay, that's your opinion. Huh? Oh, I that's can expect your opinion. Thank you. 24,000 miles. Um, you're, you're going with uh, the atmosphere, a squash sphere. The oblate spheroid, they tell you. Uh, so they say it's squashed at the poles, so it's slightly leave. wider. This is what they tell you. Uh, now, how would you feel if I say this to you? There is absolutely zero, none, real pictures from space. No video, no pictures, none of them are real. The point of the fact I've never been there to witness it myself, you, 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 you could be talked into that, a different person could be talked into that. Exactly. I believe. So, but you understand that you believe it because of the images that they show you. So does it not shock you that none of the images are real? I think these images are real. Well, why do you think that? It's just a place that I... Why do you think that? Why do you think that? I think I just accept them. I, mean, I think I'm about to I trust. You trust them? Yeah. Thank, well, that's, all, that's what we're looking for. We're looking for an honest, an honest answer. Yeah. The fact is, is that NASA tell you on their website that the images they're showing you are computer generated. Yeah. None of them are real. They, don't, they tell you their images, they don't tell you their photographs. Yeah. They've done that deliberately because then they could be held accountable yeah. for yeah. misinforming people. To yeah. what end would they do that? Well, here's the thing if you are in control of power, right? If you get a group of people that you want to control and keep within your control, the first thing that you're going to have to do is convince them that the place you're keeping them in is the only thing that exists. Now if you create a sphere in people's minds, then that's where they live. The foundations of where they think they are is false. They think they're on a sphere, they are there's nothing else left to discover. So the chances are they're just going to stay still and accept the life that you offer them. Right? That's the tool, that's the reason why they've done it. Some people are happy with that. People like me are not happy with it. Because I want to go wrong. So, you know, I'm, I'm quite happy with it. The globe. I'm the quite globe. happy with the globe, and I'm quite happy with the folk have navigated their way around it and flown around it. It's never, been, it's never been sucking navigations from north to south. Neither must have been. It's never been. Check it out, mate. This is a good thing, though, because you don't, I don't want you to believe me. I want you to trust your own senses and do your own. Well, I know that you maybe know you don't care, but that's what I say to people. I don't care. Everybody cares about something, you know, but, I, but I, I, I can't, I can probably accept what I hear in it. So, you know, enough to worry about it. I know you have an answer problem, you know, people have got their everyday lives and stuff that they contain them and, you know, they've got stuff to worry about. People in here are different, so. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> but, but this is good because this is the reactions we need. Yeah, listen, I've had, had two years of ridicule, man. It's not a good one, I love it. It's not going to bother me. It's usually half-bar feet in the morning, I have these conversations with this guy. Do you ever wonder why they never change? Styles, you, what's the move in relation to each other, they're always the same. I always like that. Because they're fixed. Right. So here's the thing, two opposing pressure systems, say you've got a vacuum, and you've got a positive pressure system. In reality, yet again, science, observation, testing, we know that we need to have a solid barrier between the two of them or we'll let collaborate. Right. That's a fact of reality. Yeah. So why is it different? Again, when it gets to the bigger scale. Absolutely. Every rocket launch, yeah. every rocket launch goes up, yeah. leans over, and it goes away out to see, you see the bit of sea that they dumped them in. They called it the Bermuda Triangle. Why do you think they called it the Bermuda Triangle? You've got me here. Is it because it's near Bermuda and it's a triangle? <laughs> no, it's because see if me and you were out there and we seen something we shouldn't have. I'm just going to shoot you at the water. And then when people ask questions, where did the ship or the plane go? Oh, Bermuda triangle. Bermuda triangle. Because they seen and they witnessed something that they shouldn't have witnessed. Because it's part of the deception. They fire these rockets up, touch them in the sea, watch them now, see when you look at all the things. They show you that and then they cut the CGI, computer generated images. Oh, we're in space now. Honestly. You're Honestly, man. <laughs> This is the, it's the truth. They're releasing it now. See, I know you're laughing. I'm not I'm, laughing, it's just... No. Uh, you know? I have these conversations at 3 o'clock in the morning, I say, and you don't think I'm wrong, right? Do you have what These guys have been paid to tell these fucking lies, right? It's absolutely ridiculous and total nonsense that people believe that in 1967 they fired a rocket the first time, never tried it before. Oh, we made it all the way to the moon. While well, they're on the phone to Nixon, 238,000 miles away, on the moon speaking to Nixon, you know. And the people, reason people believe it is because they've seen it in the telly. Are you going 
Thank you very much. I really appreciate the honesty. It's good fun, actually.